Yo, what's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? <clears throat> Welcome guys um, to uh, me attempting to make some Congo terrain, some more Congo terrain I hasten to add. This time I'm going to be trying to make a template for what I'm going to be using as Kong's Lair, amongst other things. Now I'm going to use this thin cake board for the purpose of this, until I can get a better, something better, more established. And although it's not quite large enough around because it needs to be the medium template from the center you know, medium kong template from the center of it uh, i'm just gonna put like some scattered terrain in the middle but i'm gonna um use polyfiller to give it a bit of texture around it or over it so we'll just see what we can do with this he says. So I'm taking off this cellophane layer. And, um, this is a test, really, to see if it can be done. Now I'm not even going to bother taking off this um, like silver foil cover. That they use for the cakes it's cheap enough and I don't know how long I've had this so it says it dries in five minutes but we'll see I've cut out some bits of cardboard for scrapers so I'm just gonna tilt the camera down so you can see that yeah and here we go so just before we start I'm just gonna pop my knife cover on that's the word right. need to take it back off again because oh, actually I'll just get the end of this off here there we go and polyfiller Just hmm. It's not coming off easy, so I'll try and cut a bigger hole. really smells strong, like strong this stuff uh, so I recommend you do it in a ventilated area if you do it this way if this turns out to be a not so successful video I won't put it up anyway try and see if we can do this a bit faster shall we There you have it. 
So all around, I'm just going to let that dry now and um, I'll come back to you once it's dry. Okay, now we've got Kong's Lair sort of polyfilled or speckled, whatever you want to call it. And it's on there. So I'm just going to give it a coating with PVA water mix just to seal it in a bit. It's kind of cool that it's got the cracks down here because it's probably going to be where I put the, the grass effect, moss effect, uh, if you will. So we're going to slather this on. And then wait for that to dry. So we're just, just going to pop this on all over and then wait for it to dry. Alright, so I'm going to progress with Kong's Lair. So here's the base, the cake base. I should really clean my desk up. Um, with the filler or spackle or whatever you want to call it on there, it's cracked nicely too. It's going to give some good depth to it. It's been sealed with PVA. So now I'm just going to hit it all over with the surface primer. Uh, this is truly one I should airbrush, but I just can't be bothered. So what I'll do is I'll just speed this this up. So. Or I'll come back to you when it's done. But anyway, airbrush it or hand brush it, whatever you want to do. So I'll see when that's done. Right, as you can see, I've already started painting this up over the black with Umbral Umber from P3 favourite brown of mine so I'm just going to go all over with that don't know why I shut the lid actually this is Kong's Lair or it will be So finally, when you've done all that, and you've put some sand and grit and flock down, that's kind of what it looks like. And I'm going to probably keep it like this, to be truthful. And I'm just going to put trees or whatever on it as scattered terrain, uh, so I can like, move objects within the, um, within the jungle itself. So that's Kong's Lair. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's one cake board Kong's lair. Thanks for watching, guys.